Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. Opioids have become the number one cause of accidental deaths in our community. To combat this public health crisis and save lives, Congressman Lloyd Doggett has secured $2 million in federal funding for Austin and Travis County. I want to say that the city of Austin is committed to ensuring that our residents have the information they need to protect themselves from this threat. Uh, the infusion of federal money will enable us to expand our communication about the risk of opioid addiction and overdoses. In addition, uh, because of this, we will be able to support more substance misuse services through our social services grant. These federal funds will help provide overdose education, prevention, outreach treatment, and recovery programs with additional funding for the life-saving medication Narcan. For information on opioids and local resources, visit austintexas.gov slash opioids. The city is supporting Austin's creative organizations and independent artists facing displacement or high and unaffordable leases. Grant funds between $5,000 and $50,000 will be offered, totaling $1.5 million in aid for independent artists leasing commercial studio space, nonprofit arts organizations, and for-profit live music venues, performance spaces, and art galleries. Applications are open through Tuesday, February 28th. To learn more about the program and application process, visit austintexas.gov slash creative space program. Do you know any students grades six through 12 who have a passion for creating videos? The city of Austin invites sixth through 12th grade students to put their skills to the test by entering the flood safety video contest. Participants will create a 30 second public service announcement about the importance of turning around and finding a safer route anywhere that water is covering the road. Videos are due by March 31st for a chance to win a cash prize and more. Visit austintexas.gov slash flood dash safety dash contest or scan the QR code for contest details. The O. Henry Museum has reopened. The public is invited to rediscover the newly reopened museum and its exhibits depicting the life of William Sidney Porter, better known by his pen name, O. Henry. Explore Porter's life in a social, family, and creative context, as well as the recent acquisition of his first professional commission. Find hours of operation and more information at the O. Henry Museum website. That's it for this week's City View. Thank you for watching, Austin. Be sure to catch up on all of the latest information on atxn.tv, our social media channels, and on our dedicated webpage, austintexas.gov. Stay well, Austin.